Welcome back to Are You the Studio Show. I'm Janelle Lopez and I'm here with I'm Zaira Wilson. I'm Nadia Newsom. And my name's Dar Early Desarmo. So could you please explain to us a little bit about what Alternative Breaks is? So Alternative Breaks is basically our student program that basically wants to create um, active citizens through our students by providing them with programs and breaks that really are surrounded by social justice issues and we basically um, provide education behind it as well so that students not only know why um, and where they're going but actually know if they're actually making a big difference where they um, participate in these breaks. Awesome. Um, could you explain to us a little bit how you can apply to be in the, pro in the program? So we have, sorry, <coughs> sorry, we have different positions. Um, you can be a breaker you can, or you can be on the board. Um, to be a breaker, there are there is a Google form sent out that asks for all of the information, and then our coordinator, the alternative breaks coordinator, goes through and see if you are fit, and then she tells you if you got on or not. And then to become a board member, there's a separate Google form and it asks which position you want to be on, and then you have to go through an interview process, and then you get on. <laughs> awesome. Um, could you please explain to us a little bit about what happens in these staycations and long week trips? Yes, so at the, um, stay, at the state breaks, it is a week in long um, volunteer opportunities. So students will go on Saturday to the volunteer site and they'll be provided lunch. Um, but then around 5, 6 p.m., then they'll go back to their prospective homes. And then on Sunday, everybody will rejoin and do the same thing over again, whether it is with the same um, volunteer organization or a different volunteer organization, but it will always be on the same social justice uh, education, if that makes sense. And then for the week long, it is where this happens during winter break and spring break or during May break. So basically, it's a week long experience where students will go to um, an organization site and they will all stay with each other from Sunday um, all the way until Friday. And they'll have bonding activities as well as continuing giving back to the community and volunteering with the organization that they're there for. Awesome, thank you. So could you please, um, ex each one of you, explain what Alternative Breaks means to you? Um, Alternative Breaks to me was almost like a place where I can feel like at home basically. Um, during um, I think my freshman and sophomore year, I wasn't able to get like a lot of volunteer hours just because we were getting new, used to this new environment because it was very like much so during COVID. So I knew I needed volunteer hours, um, not only for my degree, but for um, my future um, plans after undergrad. So um, I was trying to find um, basically volunteer opportunities that best fit me. And I was like, well, let me just go ahead and sign up for this stay break. It sounded pretty cool. It was really like cheap. A lot of volunteer opportunities around here require you to be like associated with the organization or like at least knowing them for like a while or whatever. There was no requirements for that. So I was like, I feel like this might be a good fit. We went on the first break, everything went well. And then I progressively like became more established with AB and learned more about it. And then I just progressively like grew up on the um, food chain basically. And basically um, got an AB board position now. So everything's been great so far for me. Oh, awesome, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, could you please explain what it means to you? As a first year when I came here, or I'm still first year, but when I came here, I was like really lonely and I needed somewhere to go because going home and then coming back to class was like really exhausting. I also like really love volunteering, but because of my age or the fact that I couldn't drive certain places or many other restrictions, um, that made it hard for me to do so. But then when it comes to AB, they provide transportation, they provide you with the shirt, housing, all the other stuff. Um, and it gave me something to do. And just like Z, I started out as a breaker, I became a site leader, and now I'm on the board. Oh, awesome. Um, could you please explain what it means to you? Well, has been a really big impact um, to be involved within an organization that's a 
across both campuses. But uh, another big reason is because AP focuses on education, like it was stated earlier, um, that we not only focus on exactly what we're doing, but why we are doing it, and it, it is truly making an impact on the community. So, yeah. Oh, awesome. Um, is there anything else that you guys would like to add? Anything that anybody else needs to know about um, alternative breaks? A, B has changed my perspective on a lot of things. We have an active uh, citizen continuum, and I felt that I was just like, I knew why I was doing it, but I was just doing it. A, B has moved me along to active citizen to where I've changed the way I haven't worn certain things. I, I don't eat certain things because they don't support what I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, and AB has really supported me in a lot of that stuff, so it's a great program to be a part of. Oh, I love that. Anything else you guys would like to add? Um, another thing I would like to um, add about AB is like we're very inclusive, and I think that's kind of not so much rare, but it's hard to find with other volunteer things just because it's like you kind of see like the same types of people in those positions and stuff like that. But like when it comes to AB, we don't matter. It doesn't matter like your race, your age social economic status like any type of demographic you can think of we're all inclusive everyone we want to make sure everybody is represented and that we help everyone that needs to be represented in that way as well all right um anything you would like to add yes i would say to add on to that i think why we're so inclusive and different from volunteer opportunities is because the site leaders we take the time to get to know the breakers before we go on the break um, we have a lot of team building activities, so when we're actually on the break and doing the services together, um, it feels like a community that we already know each other are already. Oh, awesome. Well, that's all from us today, guys. Thank you. Bye.